Hello, my old school soul food fans, followers. Chef Jeffrey back with another YouTube video. And today I'll be doing something you either love them or you hate them. There's no in between. There's no, oh, maybe I like them a little. This item I'm about to cook today is country you can get. I grew up on them. I love them. I love them. I love them. Love them. Some people hate them, hate them, hate them. So if you hate them, just keep move on with the video. Don't put no crazy comments or whatever. If you like them, let me know. I'm going to be making old school chitlins or chitterlins that you want to be proper. But I grew up on chitlins. I grew up where my dad used to kill a hog and bring the chitlins fresh. We take hours cleaning out the corn and all that out of them. But let's get started here. This is going to be the first part with the 24 hour process of the first step here. I have something that will, everybody have their different remedies and stuff. This one works. I've been using it for 20 years. To make the chitlins, of course, I got them all clean, got all the corn out of them. They bright and white. It took about four hours cleaning these things. So I cleaned chitlins in my sleep. I did many, 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 so many of these. But anyway, I got them washed, clean, drained. And I'm going to show you a method that they will not smell when you cook them. That's the, that's the thing when people cook chitlins, they don't like the smell. They smell up the house and stuff like that. I guarantee you, if I'm cooking chitlins in my house, you will never know it. You won't know it. I've had people come over and do dinners in my house, and they say, oh, you got chitlins? I didn't know you had chitlins. No, they're sitting on the stove. You don't even know they're here. So this is the step. This is the key ingredient, Italian dressing. We're going to marinate these chitlins. We're going to put this in a bowl. Marinate with this for 24 hours. 24 hours, we'll take and rinse off the Italian dressing and then boil them. This also helps tenderize. The acidity in here helps tenderize the chitlins also, which helps them cook faster. So it, it, it serves two purposes. Help tenderize them, help stop the smelling. And it has no flavor. It does nothing to the flavor. You still got to add your salt and pepper. You want to put some diced onions in it, you can. But this is the key. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put these in the bowl here. I got them good and drained all the water after I wash them. Wash them all off. And now I'm gonna take uh, this. You get the cheapest Italian dressing you can find. Cheapest you can find. And just put them in there. That's so all you're gonna do. Y'all probably think I'm crazy what I'm doing, but believe me, trust me. I haven't, I haven't steered you wrong yet on my tips and recipes and remedies. This will definitely work. All that Italian dressing. Put the whole bottle in there. We're going to completely submerge this in the Italian dressing. Look at that. We're going to marinate this for 24 hours. Must be 24 hours. That's the key. You have to really penetrate and soak into these chitlins. So what we're going to do... <coughs> Put it in the refrigerator, cover it, leave it covered for 24 hours. I will be back in 24 hours and we're gonna start the cooking process. But we will be back in 24 hours. All right. All right, y'all, I'm back here. These things been marinating. Remember, I got these in the. Let's get this off here. Oh, yeah. See how it's set up? They've been marinating for 24 hours. In this here Italian dressing. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour this in the sink in a colander, and I'm gonna rinse all this much of this dressing off in here as I can. In the sink here, so y'all can see what I'm doing. I have to move the camera over so y'all can see. So all I'm gonna do is. Rinse them off here in the sink here really good in the colander. Another thing I don't do, some people do, I don't pre I don't cut my <clears throat> chitlins up before I cook them. I like to cut them after I cook them. I like big hunks of chitlins. So some people cut theirs up before, but I don't do that. Alright. All that water off of that. All that dressing is laying in off of that. That's what we're doing here. These are going to definitely stop it from stinking up your house, smelling up your house. 
of the vinegar in there and the, and the oil and vinegar in there, and even the flavor, all help to uh, stop the. Let me rinse this bowl off too here. It's just soft in there. Little specks of the dressing in there, but it is no big deal, y'all. Oh, yeah, extra flavor. Extra flavor. Now, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna fill this up with cold water. Cold water here. Make sure you completely have it uh, covered with cold water. Here, I'm gonna move the camera back over so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, and we're gonna put onions in here, diced onions, white onions, and salt and pepper. That's it. Simple as it can be. I'm gonna cover this and let this simmer for three hours. That is absolutely it. Nothing else to chitlins. The main thing with chitlins with me is getting it marinated in that uh, dressing so they don't smell. But other than that, we're going to cover this up, let it simmer low, three hours, and they're going to come out fork tender. So we'll be back in about three hours, and then we'll show you how they come out. All right, y'all, we back here, and we're going to see here. See them chitlins, how they're simmering? These things are ready, y'all. They're nice and tender. They so light, like full of air. They are definitely, definitely ready. So what we gonna do, I'm gonna come right back. I'm gonna turn them off. And I'm gonna be back in just a minute. We're gonna plate some up. I'm gonna put me some hot sauce on here, some pepper sauce on here, and I'm gonna taste these things. That's nice and good old school chitlins. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, we're going to plate up some of these old school chitlins here. I love me some chitlins, y'all. Let's see here. Get it in the pot here. Some here on my plate. There we go. Ooh, yes. And this way I eat mine. I put a little pepper sauce on mine. Gotta have some pepper sauce. And then I put some hot sauce on there. It's the only way to eat them, y'all. The only way to eat them. Okay, let's try these suckers out. It's so easy. Look how, look how they just fall apart. They're so tender. See that? Mm, 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 mm. See that? See how tender they are? That's what you want. Nice and tender. Got enough seasoning. Mm, mm. Mm-hmm. Look at that. They just pull apart. Pull apart tender. That's why I don't chop mine up beforehand. Because they just pulls apart. That's how that's what they're supposed to do. See that tender. Mm. I can stop eating these. Mm. Like I say, y'all. Love them or hate them. I love them. I need a whole pile of these things. But anyway, give this recipe a thumbs up. Please comment. Please share. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.